MacBook apps, one of the most controversial talks online and you know, in the whole tech ecosystem. Now, I've had my fair share of Windows operating systems for almost all my life. It's in the last three years I began testing MacBooks and stuff like that. And I've seen how third party apps, yeah, the so called customization of Windows, I've seen how it affects the Windows operating system and how it doesn't really blend. It's more like yeah, connecting unrelated pieces of jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, it connects, but then it doesn't just make up the full picture. But then Mac, on the other hand, when you customize Mac OS with third-party apps, it works as though it were natively, and it's even much better on Apple Silicon. Now, many of you have had many recommendations, probably from YouTube, on kinds of apps you should download for your MacBook, most of which ended up useless and just taking off space on your overpriced SSD which costs up to $200 to upgrade to like the next tier on Apple's website. Well, that's where I come in. If you're a professional and you need a couple apps that would boost your productivity by like light years ahead, I made a video prior to this one about the top apps, but I'm making this in addition because there are new apps that came into light and I want to share with you. So let's get started. Now, one of the biggest issues Mac OS users have is the inability to, you know, quickly snap windows from one corner of the screen to another. Let's say you have a 24 inch ultra wide LG monitor, for instance, like it's so impossible to like snap windows, you know, whether to the left, to the right, to the middle, to the center. Yes, because you might be working with a very large project and you might need to like quickly snap windows from corners to corners, you know, and you end up dragging them and when you calculate the total time you spend dragging windows from corner to corner of screens you might even record up to five minutes of total time let's say in a two hour workflow for instance so this app i'm going to tell you now just makes it possible with simple clicks on your keyboard with shortcuts you can even set yourself the app is called rectangle it's very easy to download it's a free app the download link is in the description of this video. Like I, for instance, I use UIJK to snap windows on my 13 inch MacBook to the four corners of the screen, the left, the right, the bottom left and bottom right respectively, UIJK on the keyboard. That's simple, just control option U, I, J and K. If you want to download the app, it's quite simple also. Yeah, it involves just going to your web browser and searching for rectangle app. The first one probably contains the link to the website and you'll see it's, it's open source free to download. The next one is even better, Grammarly. Now Grammarly is an app that has been on YouTube for quite a while. I mean, that app began to frustrate me, but at some point I was like, let me just try out the app and see what it does. And the app is amazing. If you are a professional, that's the main point of this video, productivity, professionalism, not just using your MacBook to play asphalt and, you know, call it using your MacBook. If you actually do professional work that you are paid for, most likely, Grammarly is an app you can't do without. Yeah, because why pass on the chance for every single piece of English you write in an online presence to be professional and, like, well punctuated and summarized? and not over like longer than it should be and you know stuff like that grammarly does that from shortening to long sentences that we unnecessary synonyms and you know even finding synonyms for you even converting like contractions and stuff like that grammarly does everything and you correct your words all you need to do is just hover over the red lines or yellow lines or blue lines and then you say shoulder shine it's up to you when you click on it it fills it in it's that simple and it makes your english very presentable if you are someone with english issues that's an app for you because you will sound like a professional online when you are typing on social media with your web browser online grammarly does it all and the best part is that grammarly has an extension for like chrome firefox and also an app natively in your mac so if you install both the extension and the app you will cover throughout your mac os system both in browsers and on like your desktop apps if you want to download grammarly just head over to the link in the description or their website just search grammarly download you find the official website and you download it the free plan is sufficient and generous enough for you to enjoy every single thing i talked about yeah there is more but those are like more in-depth and they are unnecessary the third app bartender yeah <laughs> Sounds hilarious for people that are used to going to the bar. No big deal. Bartender is basically an app that makes your menu bar tidy. Yeah, because most of these apps are just code for you. When you install them and like they're always running on your macOS system, they begin to keep 
some sort of notifications or status icons in your menu bar for you to always know what's going on or that it's even running in the first place yeah because that's how you get to quit them if you want them not to run anymore so bartender 5 helps you like tidy this up and pack them into one bundle which you can access with a simple shortcut that you need like i i chose three dots on mine you can choose a variety of shortcut icons bartender is not a free app though yeah it's not free yeah but there is a generous trial session for it actually though know, if truly it's something you know that suits you and also there are alternative apps to bartender but i just had to call the best you get it yeah if i was going to call the alternative apps this video would probably be like 20 minutes long to download bartender head over to your browser and search for bartender and voila you have it the next one is very interesting especially if you're a batman fan the name of the app is called alfred yeah and alfred is basically your alfred if you're a batman <laughs> yeah how interesting is that alfred is basically like a spotlight search you know spotlight is one of the best things you enjoy on mac OS, but alfred even takes it further from the ability to search your entire mac os system and file system and also external drives and also the web yeah alfred is like the entire internet and your macbook combined that's where it gets its data from when searching for you and with a simple shortcut you access alfred and anything you search for even these apps i mentioned prior to this just enter alfred with a simple shortcut and just type like rectangle download dmg or for mac os or something like that and you find it like alfred takes you anywhere you need to be like a true loyal servant like fast has. the next app is called hand mirror if you are a professional or a student or with online classes there's a very high chance you always need to you know appear in an online presence or a video meeting or whatsoever like a zoom meeting you know stuff like that google meet and there is an app that could help you a lot now most of you that use your macbook webcam or continuity webcam either of that on your macbook you need to like know how you look before you go live and most of you end up you know testing your camera by going all the way to open the photo boot app or even having to use a mirror or your iphone or something else why not get a real like a real time analysis of how you look with your macbook itself since after all that's the webcam you're going to use most likely your macbook's webcam all you have to do is download the app it's called hand mirror and just go over to your menu bar which hopefully is tidied up by bartender and when you click your bartender shortcut and you click the hand mirror it just shows you a little preview of how you look perfect no stress and you just minimize this when you're done and then you get an accurate sense of how you appear before going live the final app is very interesting app cleaner now most of you have issues where apps you previously uninstalled have some kind of residual files that are your macbook and taking up so much space of your overpriced ssd storage now what if i told you there's an app that all you have to do is like tell you the app you want to uninstall and it removes the app entirely from your macbook including any residual related files to that app yeah because why uninstall telegram for instance and then all your telegram media and you know stuff like that are on your macbook still taking space but you intended to kick out everything and they're on your macbook but you have no idea they are and then you begin to see storage issues one day and you begin to wonder what to do and how to take down whatever taking storage yeah so this app called app cleaner is very easy to download it's a very free app search for it in your alfred and you find it easy and it gets rid of any residual files on your macbook so definitely these six apps i just mentioned you can't deny they actually make your life better can you no you can't now comment in the comment sections if you have tried any of these before watching this video and also if you tried any of these after watching the video and the impact you feel it might make in your life and as a productivity centered person as a professional like me and i'll see you guys in the next video yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more mac updates like this there is more where that came from i had it out